Argentina is keen to acquire 15 Tejas Mark 1A fighter jets from India, and latest reports indicate that Argentina also aims to assemble an additional 30 aircraft locally in its own country, and this is significant, as this proposition opens up significant avenues for collaboration technology transfer and joint production. During the recent talks, India has also offered to replace the British ejection seats with American or Russian ejection seats, as well as replace the British nose cone with a locally manufactured alternative, and British Dunlop tyres with domestically produced MRF tyres, thus providing Argentina with a range of options to suit its requirements and preferences. The audio has said that it will start underwater trials of indigenous fuel-based air independent propulsion system in early 2024. If the contract for three additional Scorpion-class submarines is signed by the end of this year, the first submarine equipped with the RDO's AIP technology will join the Indian Navy by 2030, and by that time, the production partner Larsen and Tubro will begin delivering AIP systems for both the three new submarines and the existing Scorpion submarines in service with the Indian Navy. The DRDO chief has said in a recent media interaction, that work is underway on the Arjun Mark II main battle tank, and the tank is expected to enter production in 2030. The DRDO will integrate latest state-of-the-art technologies such as advanced sensors communication systems and weapon systems in the Mark II version, and also address the past issues like weight. The DRDO would streamline the development process to ensure timely deliveries, to avoid repeating the lengthy development cycle of the Arjun Mark IA. The French firm Naval Group has joined hands with Larsen and Tubro to work on the indigenous SOV-400 midget submarine program that has a 400-ton displacement and is designed to excel in special forces operations. The SOV-400 can carry two heavyweight torpedoes externally that can engage both surface vessels and submerged threats. The extent of cooperation between Naval Group and Larsen and Tubro has not been disclosed publicly, but it is expected to involve technical consultancy from the French side. The Indian Air Force's Maintenance Command has developed a satellite-based real-time aircraft tracking system that can get information about the location of an aircraft. The trials of the tracking system in other sectors are over, and is currently undergoing final trials in the eastern sector, after which the modification will be implemented in all the aircraft, that will provide location of a flying aircraft every 30 seconds. The Indian Air Force has upgraded its Mi-17 helicopters with new radar warning receiver, missile approach warning systems, a flare and chaff dispensing system, as well as an identify friend and foe system. The Air Force operates over 220 Mi-17 series helicopters, and the modification work comprises fitment of 14 systems including electronic warfare suits and advanced avionics. The CEO of BrahMos Aerospace has clarified, that the BrahMos missile has a maximum capacity to carry a warhead of 300 kg, and in theory, it could be used for equipping it with a tactical nuclear weapon, however, he emphasized that India has not pursued the development of tactical nuclear weapons for deployment on the BrahMos or any other subsonic cruise missiles, to maintain transparency and avoid any confusion or miscalculations in the event of employing the weapon during a conflict, while Pakistan has invested in the development of tactical nuclear weapons for its Babar cruise missile.